Hey guys, Codextual here. So we're gonna be messing around with the Xfinity. Or Comcast, whatever you want to call them. So again, with my other video, how we did with CenturyLink. Oh my god, power on. Except for this is upside down. Nope, nope. Let's put in the coaxial cable first. Then it's not that hard to twist. I would say this is more easier to troubleshoot with Sensor Link. And you plug in and play. Not that hard. Starts with the power. Then it goes from the uploads, the download and the upload. Then it goes on online. Then it goes on the wireless. So there's two wireless functions the 4.0 or the 2.4 gigahertz. Then there's the 5, which would be the new functionality for the Wi-Fi uh, for high-end laptops, phones, and whatnot to have more of a promising speed. What other? Those are really the lights you need to worry about. I'll be teaching you how to go to the modem settings into the GUI, we'll log in with this about the bully, and we are going to learn how to troubleshoot everything. All right, guys. So once you are having a web browser open up, doesn't matter what it is, Google Chrome, Internet Explorer, anyhow, you're gonna type in 10.0.0.1 into your URL, but already have it open up. So you're gonna wonder what is your default username and password. So the username is gonna be admin, and the password is gonna be password. Then you go ahead and just enter in. Simple enough. It says, would you like to change your default password? I would recommend this, but however, I'm not going to change it because I normally forget my passwords. So, to get to the Wi-Fi, what you're going to do is click on Connection. Then I'll drop it down. Then you're going to click on Wi-Fi. Now this is going to be for your 2.4 Gs, the gigahertz. This is just your standard Wi-Fi. So I just marked my down, and I put my uh, Wi-Fi name, what I want to be broadcasting. And I also want to put the password down. Then you're going to click Save Settings. Same concept on the 5 Gs. I just have number 5, same password, and Save Settings. Now, if you have any problems with your gateway, aka your cable modem, click on troubleshooting, then click on reset or restore gateway, then you can reboot the modem without even getting up, lazy person you. You can also restore it to factory default settings. So, that's basically it. Xfinity, aka Comcast, has made it simple for everything to go through. You don't have to go through all the necessary troubleshooting with your cable modem. Now, however, there's still, you know, if you're connected to the internet, look at the links below, because you might still have a problem with your computer if it's connected to the internet. Well, if the internet is connected, but your computer is not getting any internet. So look at the links below. There's some more advanced tutorials that will teach you how to get back on the internet. Other than that, Xfinity is awesome. You don't have to do much troubleshooting anything. It's just plug and play. But if you guys find this video informational or if you got educated from it, you know, go ahead and like the video. Subscribe. Support me to support you. Other than that, you guys keep being awesome.